Hi guys and girls, this is Vicky from Tales from the Trails and this video is, hopefully it's going to be very useful for you. It is a location video for all 20 dream catchers and in addition to that, also show you what you can get as a reward after this very long and arduous task in game. So, let's get right on it. You need to remember that if you are looking for any location in particular, just pause the video. I am flicking through them really, really quickly. So if there's anything you're missing, hit the pause button and find it. The first dream catcher we have found is, it is actually near Ansberg. We all hate this area because it's really creepy, but it's between the N and the E. The second one, which is again in the Ansberg area, it is near Deer Cottage. Just north of Ansberg. So the third one, it is again hanging from a tree, it is near the loft. And the fourth dun, 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 is in the O of New Hanover. The fifth one I have found is in the Heartlands Overflow and that is between the A and the N in that watery bit. Number six is literally in the heartlands between the A and the N. Number seven we have again hanging from a tree. And that is beat by even Lonnie's shack. Number eight is not a fond area, but it is by the Aberdeen Pig Farm. This is number nine, halfway up a hill. And this one, the closest place, is near Window Rock. Number ten. This one is located near south of the Citadel Rock, between the N and the E of New Hanover. This is Dreamcatcher 11, which is north of the Citadel Rock by the train tracks. Number 12. This one is actually near Caliban's Seat. Here we have Dreamcatcher 12, and that is located by Caliban's Seat. Dreamcatcher 13 is located near Lucky's Cabin, which is south of Valentine. Dreamcatcher 14 ding, 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 is near the Cattail Pond, hope I said that right, which is just south of Grizzlies West. Dreamcatcher 15 is another one in Ansberg, which is very close to the U in Ansberg. Dreamcatcher 16 is actually near Clawson's Rest. which is essentially south of Grizzlies West. Dreamcatcher 17 is again near Ansberg, and that's literally south of where it says it on the map. Dreamcatcher 18 is by the Ellison Pool, hanging in a tree, as they do. That's between the E and R of New Hanover. Dreamcatcher 19 is near Flatneck Station. Quite easy to find, because it's right on the road and near the river itself and Dreamcatcher 20 is near Katora Springs we don't go up there that much but yeah it's between there and one of those bridges so there you go when you collect all 20 you'll write in a book your journal and it looks a bit like American Bison so what is weird about this map the the one what looks like an eye isn't joined up to anything. So we head over to that area and it is Ellison Pool and from a prior side quest at Butcher's Creek I found out that you could actually walk through it so I knew this was here. So you follow it through. There are a lot of rats around here both black and brown if that's helpful. Um, don't follow the sides because it will hurt even though even though you can go explore which is kind of cool. There were some things to find down that hole down there, just so you know. Um, carry on. Uh, yeah, there's a cave system underneath, and that's what it looks like. 
which is, you know, useful in some way, shape or form. We're getting there. Uh, yeah, I got I pretty much got lost at this point. I was checking it out. Anyway, right, back on it. Eventually the cave does open up into a really bright area. Probably because of the poison. There are lots of bats flapping around and they do knock themselves out on the rocks so you can get perfect bat bodies, I guess. So what you need to do is head up to the right side and just climb up. And you will see these cave paintings. Bit of a struggle sometimes. And you will notice, you can inspect it, so it adds it to the journal. There's an American bison on the right side with a very fancy eye. Not really much here, or so you think. And eventually I figured out that, go back to the map, and it did show where to actually look. And you look into uh, the American bison's eye itself. I hung around for a bit, don't worry. So the bison's eye is actually two clues. It tells you where to go and where to look. So you take it and it is like an ancient arrowhead. So that is your prize for, for some reason, doing 20 quests. 20 quests? Finding 20 things. It's 20 quests long in my opinion. It takes the entire game, but you know, it's cool. It's cool. I like it. Just very long. So there you go. I hope you do find this video useful in some way, shape or form. If you don't subscribe already, please do so. And happy trails.